The Great Translation Movement. We got contacted by these guys, I'd say a couple weeks ago, okay? And what they're trying to do is they're actually trying to demystify what's going on on the Chinese media. And the way they do this is they go to Weibo. Now, Weibo is like Twitter, okay? And then what they do is they look at the hottest trending topics on Weibo and they translate what people are saying, the highest upvoted comments and so on and so forth. And it's despicable. So people are cheering on the Russian invasion. People are, you know, that's where we got all the... Um, it's it's also just stuff in China. Yeah, yeah. Right? But, but the fact of the matter is you can see some of the nasty things that are being said online openly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In because China. in China, it's, it's a surveillance state. They're supposed to shut down anything bad, but they actually yeah. they propel and allow horrible hate speech. And, you know, here's the thing. Remember the, the Chinese internet. And of course, when you're talking about these things that are upvoted, you're talking about like internet trolls. You're talking about like, you know, uh, not the best people in society. We're not trying to paint Chinese society as, no. uh, as anything. But when you read these very highly upvoted comments, like when the invasion first broke out and they were posting things about offering to take Ukrainian women as slaves, refugees mm. as slaves, as long as they're between the ages of, what was it 10? Was it 12 or 10? Yeah, 12, I think. 12 and 25, that kind of thing. And those were getting upvoted and they were really up there. Yeah. Now, normally people don't notice these horrible comments and notice the, these horrible attitudes that are going around on Chinese social media simply mm -hmm. because of the language barrier. Mm -hmm. I think a huge amount of our audience can't read Chinese, right? right. So if you were to see a, a post on Weibo, you'd think it's anything, could be anything, right? You wouldn't know. But what people are saying very often on there are terrible and it's very bad when it comes to international diplomacy. Okay. But of course, these things are allowed to be posted on the most controlled internet in the world. And so it shows you that it's actually something that's endorsed by the Chinese government when they get popular like that. So anyway, the Great Translation Movement is a bunch of Chinese people who have kind of had enough of this. And they decided, you know what, we're going to translate what people are saying. Because it's unfair. I mean, like yeah. you have a completely blocked off internet. Why not see what's what's being posted in China. Yeah. So they're going to translate it, and they made it their mission to be um, the new Greco-Roman, uh, you know, kind of movement and to be able to show people what's being said. So they start translating things, and of course people are taking notice of what they're translating because when the Chinese government goes out there and says, oh, yeah, we're not going to take sides, but then on the Chinese internet it's only like, yes, go Russia and die Ukraine and we'll take your women as slaves. and all. It kind of has a conflicting message, doesn't it? It does. Okay. So they kind of took the mask off of China um, in a big way. And this, of course, is not something they want. No. By the way, please follow these guys on Twitter. Say, leave them a comment, maybe like, you know, ADV podcast or yeah. AD, ADV China sent, sent ADV us. ADV sent me, yeah. Yeah, ADV. They are the Great Translation Movement. It's in the description. And it's at TGTM underscore official on Twitter. S so what happened was, and I was surprised to see this, we, these guys popped up in our radar and we were like, oh, this is really interesting. Cause it's great. I spoke to I spoke to them yeah. in DMs. Yeah, me too. And prior, prior. Yeah, they're yeah, great. They're, they, they're really nice people. Yeah, they were really Again, polite. they're people that are just tired of this. Yeah, so so I when I spoke to them, mm -hmm. it really flies in the face of what China's claiming because they yeah. popped up on China's radar. Oh, yeah. You can tell this because Chinese state media went after them. Right? Yeah, Chinese state media decided to attack a little group of uh, translators that are... So, you know, yeah. on Twitter. So in order, so they they don't want to be complete disinformation slash misinformation. So they, they do use the correct language, but they use it to make it sound like something it's not. So it okay. says, some users active in the so-called great translation movement. Why is it so-called? Yeah, that's so -called. just what it's called. That's what it's, it's not so-called. It is called, yeah. <laughs> Are Chinese immigrants to Western countries. Some of them hold a delusional superiority complex towards China and woo the attention from Western media, said observers. So what this actually is, is that we are the Western media, by the way, mm. because we were using some of their stuff. Yeah, we used some of their clips, <laughs> and man, did the, so did the global, global Times get annoyed. Oh, man. So, yeah, so they did not like to see the Great Translation Movement sending stuff. To, they weren't sending. It was just stuff on Twitter that, that we Stuff used. that they, they post, and they reached out to us. They reached out personally. Yeah. So it's funny. It says some users are Chinese immigrants to Western countries. Guess what? Chinese government, Global Times. They're Chinese people from mainland China. Yes. The people I talk to, 
These are mainlanders, dude. And there's, you guys have people in China that don't like the Chinese government, believe it or not. And there are people them. in mainland China who are disgusted by yeah. what some of these posts posters are saying. Right. And they want people to know because, again, if you just leave it alone yeah. and you don't call it out, mm. it flourishes. It does. The only reason, by the way, the Chinese government did go out and start to scrub those posts about let's take Ukrainian women as slaves, but only when it got international attention. And it, it goes way deeper than that. I don't want to focus on the Ukraine thing too sure. much. Like it's, it's about other stuff. It's about COVID restrictions. It's about education, what they're teaching kids in school, making them chants xenophobic yeah. things right yes. i've seen things that they've translated police brutality about police brutality right things that just make it more equal for people that want to see media out of china mm -hmm. that can't see anything other than state narrative because it's a full media blackout in china yeah it's 177 <laughs> out of 180 countries in the world for press freedom yes so you're talking about just a, a little bit above north korea yeah so these people want to go out there and say let's even the playing field a little bit i'm a chinese citizen i'm hurt by the things that are happening because of my country's government. Sure. Let's go out there and put it out there and get some international attention. Very bold and, and uh, commemorable effort, yeah. I think. Now, when you do this, Global Times, and again, I'm addressing you because you've addressed us indirectly. Sure. They yeah. don't dare say our YouTube No, no, they can't. Know. They'll get banned. I love how we are Western media. I yeah. mean, technically, we're both Westerners and we're yeah. on media. I suppose. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot of effort to go try to shut down and discredit something because this article is long, right? Yeah. Do you want to read a couple I'll highlights? I'll read a couple highlights Okay, here. listen to this. This It's good stuff. So there's a quote here. This okay. is probably one of my favorite parts. It says, the so-called... So-called. The so-called great translation movement is just a farce. And this was said by Wang Qiang. Do you know who Wang Qiang is? No. He's a research fellow at the Center for Study of Military Operations of the PLA National Defense University. Wait, wait. <laughs> No, no, he's for the Center yeah, of Study of Military Operations Other, other than, than war. war. So any military operations other than war. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that That's who they got to quote on yeah. what his opinion of these random mainland Chinese that are just translating do stuff you see that's how, Do you see how paranoid the Chinese Dude. government is about people reading what's being said? I know. They got his name right. They spelled it instead of Wang. Wang they spelled it Wang. Wang. Yeah. Okay. Previously, anyway. opinion warfare, warfare against China tried to translate English content into Chinese to spread Western political ideas into China. But now the movement is to incite hatred towards China and other countries by spreading hand-picked Chinese content. And it, the reason that he's saying this mm -hmm. is throughout the article they're insinuating that Western governments are behind this as well. So they're paying. Mm -hmm. Chinese people to translate bad cherry pick stuff to make China look bad. The fact of the matter is, it's still popular content on the Chinese internet that's being translated. Yeah, here. It's, okay, it's that's all it is. Come on, like you know how Chinese state media is. They'll be like, oh look, KKK, you know, and look at how bad the American this or that racists and so on. Sure. They do that. They right. cherry pick. Everybody cherry picks. At the end of the day. It's there. It's in public. It's on the most controlled internet in the world. And that's what makes it very different. Right. When you have a country like America with freedom of speech, you get batshit crazy people on all sides of the of spectrum course. posting things online. But in China, you don't. You're not allowed to. You can't post something that's against the government or something that goes against the government's narrative. So you can't be a batshit crazy person in China posting weird vitriol. You'll get shut down. So the only things that are allowed to flourish and are allowed to gain that trending status on Weibo are things that the Chinese government either doesn't care about and they think it's okay, or they condone it and endorse it. Because when something starts to gain steam on Weibo, it's under the spotlight by the censors of the Chinese government. Immediately, they've got entire departments that as soon as a topic starts to trend, it's taken apart, mm. it's looked at, it's made sure that it's okay. If it's not okay, it gets completely scrubbed from the internet. But if it's okay, it's allowed to, to continue. What the Great Translation Movement does is, I'm glad you said, like, it's, of course, a, uh, some of it's going to be, like, just crazy netizens and stuff. Yeah. But the point is, and there's a lot more important material in there. It's not just like, oh, uh, Mr. Zhang said, like, burn all the, the foreigners or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. It's 
it's more targeted at like what is going on that you don't know about in sure, China, sure. right? And that's you know what? If you don't like the Great Translation Movement, you don't like this kind of vitriol being spread around the internet, then you have to open your your freedom of speech. Then, yeah. and you have to allow people to have international dialogue. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Sure. You can't close off 1.4 billion people and not expect some people to be really upset with the fact they live in a horrible, oppressive, repressive regime sure of course there's going to be people through they still have access to the internet yeah of course there's going to be people that do this they're like shocked and i love the language in the article try so hard to pin not pinpoint not only on western governments yes which uh, it's always going to be some cia operation according to china right but it also tries to point it at, uh, uh, put the the blame lay the blame on westerner or western living chinese people so people that left china and now they've been brainwashed by the us or whatever they've England. been brainwashed to go and translate content that's yeah. out there on the public on the chinese internet they're not mainland chinese these no. are just those silly chinese that abandon their homeland right yeah. it always has to be some bizarre scapegoat i mean it's crazy that it made state media i know i was surprised cuz this is a pretty small thing yeah. These, when these pop, the guys popped up on a radar. I'll be honest with you. When they sent me a message, I was like, "Oh, this is cool. Yeah, you know, this is interesting. There's some, there's some interesting like things there." And I popped. I think I probably used one in a podcast or something. They had like a, this. they had such a small following. Yeah. Now look. You know what this is? What? This is the Streisand. Oh, effect. that's correct. What is that? Papa, can you see me? This is now our <laughs> new soundbite for every time the Chinese government makes things known. Because this article, I mean, this is actually brilliant. It says recently a malicious smear campaign against China on the Russian-Ukraine issues surfaced on overseas social media. So, and it says the great translation movement. What they did in this article was to kind of pinpoint it and say, this is only about Russia-Ukraine issues and mm -hmm. try to deflect, but also try to throw the great translation mov movement under the bus. Yeah. But it's not only about that. No. They don't want people to go in there and look for the issues related to China. Sure. Right. Uh, I like how they use smear a lot. Smear is one of the love that most word. used words in Chinese state media. Yeah. They should start advertising for like margarine and butter companies, I think, because they say <laughs> smear so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Should, anyway, again. These are Chinese people. They can't handle it, and it's yeah. hilarious. So please go follow the Great Translation Movement. Might as well. Just so that you can give a middle finger to the CCP. Yep. But, you know, you also have to realize that it's going to be biased too, because, you know, it is people that are yeah. really pissed off with the Chinese this, government. This is a symptom of when yeah. you lock down all social media and lock Correct. down every public opinion. Yeah, exactly. So. Anyway, so it is pretty much the... Papa, can you see me? Streisand effect. It is. Uh, <laughs>